Google just made one of the hardest problems in AI ridiculously easy, like easier than finding sand on a beach. Traditionally, RAG is a process which has caused engineers a load of headaches, costs a fair amount to operate and requires a lot of maintenance. But Google just collapsed it down to three simple API calls with their new Gemini file search tool. In fact, I can build an entire RAG tool just like this in less than a minute with a single prompt in English, no code at all. So today I'm gonna to show you how absurdly easy it is to implement this and how you can build it yourself. I'm gonna go through the three breakthrough factors which make this new tool so disruptive. And of course, I'm gonna talk about the real world impact that this has on millions of businesses. Now, before we dive into why this is so revolutionary, let me paint you a picture of what AI developers have previously been dealing with when it comes to RAG. So let's say that you want an AI chat with your company's documents. Cool. Well, get ready to set up chunking strategies to generate embeddings with separate models and find out which one's the best model for your use case. Get ready to pay for and manage vector databases like Pinecone or Weavy8, and then to build retrieval systems, to implement ranking algorithms, and at the end of it, debug why your LLM is still hallucinating. I've done this for a load of clients and basically it's a bit of an infrastructure nightmare, but Google just deleted all of that. So let's talk about the fundamental problem here, the LLM blind spot. Now look, GPT-5, Claude, Gemini, all of these models are incredibly powerful. They can write code, they can analyze complex problems, they can have philosophical debates, but they have one massive limitation. They know nothing about your data. Your private documents, nope. Your company's internal knowledge base, nope. Your project notes from the last quarter, nope. And this is where RAG comes in. Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's been the solution for grounding LLMs in your private data. You retrieve relevant information from your document and then you augment the LLM's prompt with that context. But here's the thing, implementing RAG has been a bit of a pain to implement until now. Let me show you what building RAG from scratch looked like. So first you've got the document processing. You need to chunk down your documents intelligently. If the chunks are too small, then you lose context. If they're too large, you hit token limits. And um, we're not even gonna talk about chunk overlap. All of this alone is a complete art form. Then you've got the embeddings and generating your embeddings. Now you're calling embedding models and converting your text or your chunks into high dimensional vectors. They're managing these API costs and balancing between the models which have high performance but higher costs and then seeing which providers work the best for you. Then once you've done that, you come onto your vector database. Congratulations, now that you've got all these vectors, you need to store them somewhere. And for that, you need to pay for something like Pinecone or Weavy8 or Quadrant to store these vectors. And this obviously means monthly fees and scaling issues and connection management and diving into the logs when something goes wrong, the whole nine yards. And once you've done that, you've then got your search algorithms to worry about, your similarity scoring, your hybrid search strategies as well. Not to mention your re-ranking because the first retrieval isn't usually good enough. You need to re-rank models. And we haven't even talked about the actual LLM call yet. And that's just to get the content. As you can see, companies can spend weeks or even months and a shit ton of money actually figuring this out of how to build this system for themselves and how to make it actually work properly. But enter the game changer. This is where Google's groundbreaking new tool, the Gemini search tool comes in. You can implement this entire process in just three lines of code. Your semantic chunking, the generation of your embeddings, the vector indexing, then your intelligent retrieval, all of that is now super easy. But it gets even easier when we pair it with Google's Vibe coding tool in AI Studio. I'm gonna go over to AI Studio, which is completely free to use if you've got a Google account. And with this prompt here, I'm gonna create a very simple app that allows us to chat with any document that we upload. I'm gonna send this prompt off and get 30 seconds to a minute to generate. Now, since our Vibe coding tool and the file search tool are both from Google, we don't even have to mess around with setting up API calls or even API tokens. It's all handled automatically for us. And here's the result. I can upload any file. This one here is a technical specification for a chip and it's gonna automatically chunk it down, create the embeddings, index the vectors, and then allow you to ask any question and retrieve that information flawlessly. And that's it. That is the entire implementation. Pretty crazy, right? So this is not just convenient, it is truly disruptive. And there are three main reasons which make it so disruptive. The first one is speed. What used to take maybe days, more like weeks or possibly months, now takes, as you've seen, minutes. 
And I'm not exaggerating. You can go from zero to a working rag application in literally the time it takes to grab a coffee or even less. For startups or side projects or enterprise proof of concepts, this is a massive accelerator. The barrier to entry is just dropped below zero, basically. Which brings us on to point number two, which is the cost. And this is where it gets really interesting. The document storage, free. The embedding generation, free. You only pay a tiny one-time indexing fee per file, and then the standard Gemini API rates for the actual generation. When you compare this to paying monthly for Pinecone or Weaviate, paying per embedding cool, managing infrastructure, Google is essentially giving away the hardest part for free. Now, this isn't just cheaper, it's orders of magnitude cheaper. We're talking about potentially thousands of dollars per month in savings for production applications. And point number three, which is the real kicker, you still get enterprise grade features. You get support for dozens of file types straight out of the box, PDF, Word documents, spreadsheets, presentations, whatever you want. There's automatic handling of different document structures. There's semantic understanding built in. You're not sacrificing capability for simplicity here. You are getting both. Okay, cool. But what does this actually mean for you? Well, if you're a startup founder, you can now build document-based AI features into your products in days, not months. That's a massive competitive advantage and a huge cost savings. If you're an enterprise developer, then you can prototype AI solutions with company data without waiting for infrastructure teams or without depending upon anyone else to build these. It's now so much quicker to create these uh, enterprise level solutions. If you're a solopreneur or an indie hacker, then features which are previously only accessible to well-funded companies are now available to you absolutely for free and so much quicker and easier than before. And the use cases just go on and on and on here. In fact, about a year ago, I was working with a company that used RAG to build an AI system that would recommend the best mortgage product to a customer based on all of their specific information. Now, this took me a while to implement and therefore I charged a fair amount for it. But now, that client could do this for themselves within minutes, which is less good for developers, but great for the world as a whole. And this new tool by Google is really great, but it's only useful if you actually know about it. Not knowing about the right tools can cost you thousands of dollars in today's AI world, which is why I've put together a complete list of the most useful AI tools out there at the moment. Plus, I'm adding this every single day, so you're never left behind. If you want to have access to this, I'll leave a link down below where you can go and access it. Anyway, so let's get a little bit more technical here. For the engineers watching, let's talk about what's actually happening. The file search system has a two phase approach. First, you've got your offline indexing phase. When you upload a file, Gemini analyzes your document structure and creates semantic chunks with uh, custom overlap strategies. It then generates the embeddings based upon Google's latest models and then stores them in an optimized retrieval system. Then the second part of the two phase system is the real time query phase. Your query gets embedded, the similarity search runs across all your stored vectors, there's top K retrieval with potential re-ranking, then the resulting relevant chunks get injected back into Gemini's context window and you've got your answer. And the beautiful part is we don't have to touch any of this. It's all abstracted away but you get all the benefits from Google's massive R&D investment into making each one of these steps state of the art. Okay but let's be fair about this. This isn't the only managed rag solution out there. OpenAI has Assistance API with file search, Anthropic has, well, they're working on it. Langchain and Llama Index also provide frameworks, but Google's pricing and integration with Gemini specifically makes this a really compelling and unique offer. The combination of costs, simplicity, and the power of Gemini models creates it something really special here and something that I'm going to be using an awful lot going forward. Essentially, Google is saying, we're not just giving you a language model, we're giving you a complete solution for real world AI rag applications. Now, is this perfect? No, of course it's not perfect. You're locked into Google's ecosystem. If you need custom chunking strategies for highly specialized use cases, you're pretty limited. And if you really want maximum control over everything, you might still want to build your own rag solution from scratch. But for 90% of the cases out there, this is more than enough. And 90% represents millions of potential applications that are now suddenly viable and very easy to implement. So here's the bottom line. Google have just made it incredibly easy and cost-effective to implement world-class RAG features into any application that you want. That's it from me. I'll see you in the next one.